Hello, I am Hiba, and today I'll be walking you through our work, Mimic SPDH, a data set for social and behavioral determinants of health. Social determinants of health are the conditions in which people are born, grow, live, work, and age, which are shaped by the distribution of money, power, and resources. Behavioral determinants of health include tobacco use, drug use, alcohol consumption, physical activity, and diet. Together, SBDHs are environmental and behavioral factors that impact health in significant ways. Physicians mostly document information about their patients' SBDHs in electronic health records in an unstructured manner. Since there is no globally accepted format to consistently record SBDHs, there is a need to automate identifying the patient's SBDH status in EHR notes. Although approaches have been developed to automate the identification, the notes and associated annotations used to develop the approaches are not publicly available. In this work, we release Mimic SBDH, the first publicly available data set of EHR notes annotated for patients' SBDH status. For this, we aggregated 7,025 discharge summaries randomly selected from the Mimic 3 data set for the SBDHS community, economics, education, environment, alcohol use, tobacco use, and drug use. We also marked SBDH related keywords to better understand the language used to discuss them. Using Mimic SBDH, we tackled the task of identifying the status of an SBDH we treated, this task as a classification task, and studied three baseline models, Rhino Forest Classifier, XGBoost Classifier, and Bioclinical Bird. Previous work on predicting an SBDH status in EHRs evaluate models in terms of metrics such as F1, precision, and recall, but these statistics alone are not enough to understand whether the models are, are, possess certain desirable capabilities or to understand where they are failing. So we propose additionally evaluating the model based on the following capabilities, negation, attribution, historical phrases, and robustness to misspellings. We use Checklist, a tool for comprehensive behavioral testing of NLP models to understand the capabilities. In terms of results, uh, Bioclinical Bird outperformed Random Forest and XGBoost for community present and community absent. RF and XGBoost gave the best results for environment, XGBoost outperformed Random Forest and Bioclinical Board for alcohol use and drug use. We did not see a statistically significant difference in performance among the three models for education, economics, and tobacco use. In terms of behavioral testing, all models have a high failure rate in understanding negation for community present. Random Forest and XGBoost perform poorly in understanding attribution in all ASPDHs. Bioclinical Board has a particularly high attribution failure rate for education. In terms of substance use, all models have a high failure rate in understanding historical phrases. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope to interact with you in the conference soon.